Number six from the 2008 Advanced Tyre. Five marks for a little matrix question. Now sometimes little, these little matrix questions might appear scary because you're just not used to them, but they actually involve just very simple arithmetic. So what have we got? Part A. The values of x for which a is singular. Now singular means it doesn't have an inverse, and it would have an inverse if its determinant is zero. So work out its determinant. What is the determinant of a? Well, the simple pattern for a two by two matrix is main diagonal product minus other diagonal product. It'll be one times four minus x squared. Which really that is four minus x squared. And then simply it will be singular if the determinant of a is equal to zero. That means that four minus x squared equals zero. And you can see the answer straight away, plus or minus two. Write it out whichever way you like. You could factorize it, two minus, you could factorize it to two minus x, two plus x equals zero. And then say x equals 2 or negative 2, that would do. Or you could simply rearrange it. x squared is 4, so x is the square root, which is plus or minus 2. Whichever way you like. The answer is x is either 2 or negative 2. Maybe the other way around to put the negative first. Part B. When x is 2, show that the square of the matrix is simply some multiple of the original matrix. Well, when x is 2... That means a is going to equal 1, 2, 2, 4. And that means that a squared will be the product of the matrix with itself. <coughs> so that's just the scalar products of the rows times the columns. So it'll be 1 times 1 is 1, plus 2 times 2 is 4, which makes 5. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 2 times 4 is 8, so it's 2 and 8 is 10. Now this row times each of those. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 4 twos are 8, that makes another 10. And 2 twos are 4, plus 4 fours are 16, and that makes 20. And that's 5 times the original 1. So that equals 5 times 1, 2, 2, 4, which is the same as 5 times a. So a squared is 5 times a. Now, does it explicitly say state the value of p? You're never sure exactly what to do, and it says for some constant p. So quite often, for just for safety, I might put in form P A where P equals 5. Just in case of OCD-ness in the marking. The second part of B, determine the value of Q such that A to the 4 equals Q A. Again, I think for safety, I'll just state this value of Q afterwards. So a to the 4, it says a to the 4 is some number, again, times the original. Well, how can you get a to the 4? Well, a to the 4 would be a squared times a squared. Well, a to the 4 means an a times an a times a times a, but these multiplications are associative, so I can group them however I like. So there's a convenient grouping, because I know the answers. a squared is 5a, and a squared is 5a. You can take those scalar uh, multiples to the front, so that's going to be 25 and a times a is a squared. And there again, a squared is 5a. So 25 times 5a means that a to the 4 is 1, 2, 5a, which should do for the answer. But again, let's just play safe and say, in the form qa, where in this case q is 1, 2, 5. for a little bit of small print to cover you.